we shall now show that limit of n factorial to the power 1 by n whole divided by n as n tends to infinity is 1 by e. The given expression n factorial to the power 1 by n whole divided by n can be written as n factorial by n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n. The reason is in the conclusion of second theorem on Cauchy, the limit of nth root of an, limit of nth root of an, if you write like this, then this will be of the form nth root of a suffix n. Therefore, we write this. Here, note that this n we are writing as, this n we are writing as n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n. So that this n and this n gets cancelled. Just we have only n. How to choose a n? We know to choose a n, we consider the expression given in the question except the power 1 by n. So, a n can be chosen by the given expression except the power 1 by n. Therefore, the given expression is written like this and hence a n will be n factorial by n to the power n. Thus, we ignore the power 1 by n. Therefore, a n is n factorial by n to the power n. Next, we have to write a n plus 1. How do we write a n plus 1? Just replace n by n plus 1 in a n. In a n, just replace every n by n plus 1. Therefore, this a n becomes a n plus 1 n factorial becomes n plus 1 factorial n to the power n becomes n plus 1 to the power n plus 1 now we have to find the ratio the ratio a n plus 1 by a n whatever written in blue color is a suffix n plus 1 whatever written in red color is a n but remember that a n is n factorial by n to the power n. Whereas here a n is in the denominator. Therefore, we have to write its reciprocal. We have to write reciprocal. That is, we have to write upside down. n power n goes up, n factorial comes down. Therefore, this is the value of a n plus 1 by a n. We know that 5 factorial is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Now this 5 factorial can be written as, consider the first 4 factors, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, it is nothing but 4 factorial. And hence the 5 factorial can be written as 4 factorial into 5. In general, replace 5 by n, we get n factorial is equal to n minus 1 factorial into n. Now replace n by n plus 1, what do you get? n plus 1 factorial, n minus 1 factorial becomes n factorial, n becomes n plus 1 factorial. Therefore, n plus 1 factorial is n factorial into n plus 1. And hence, this n plus 1 factorial, we are going to replace by n factorial into n plus 1. So, into n power n, n power n, denominator, we have a n plus 1 power n plus 1. That can be written as n plus 1 power n into n plus 1. Because, we can write a cubed as a squared into a. a to the power 101 can be written as a to the power 100 into a. 
into n factorial n factorial now this n plus 1 in the numerator and n plus 1 in the denominator get cancelled similarly this n factorial and this n factorial gets cancelled we are left with n power n by n plus 1 whole to the power n. See, we are going to find limit of the ratio. The limit of the ratio n plus 1 by an as n tends to infinity. We know that limit of 1 by n as n tends to infinity is 0. Therefore, what we have to do is we first thing is we have to eliminate all factorial notations. If at all any factorial notation, we have to eliminate all the factorial notations. See here, we have eliminated all the factorial notation and uh, reduce the terms into though we have here n power n in by n plus one power n, we have to eliminate the power. And uh, if at all power is not a problem, we have to replace every n by 1 by n every n by 1 by n because limit of 1 by n as the n tends to infinity is 0 therefore the best thing is when we simplify a n plus 1 by a n the first thing is to eliminate all the factorials the second thing is eliminate all n wherever n is there eliminate and to try to get 1 by n. That is an idea. Therefore, this can be written as n by n plus 1 whole to the power n. <clears throat> now, as I told you, we have to get only 1 by n as a factor. Therefore, take n out from the numerator, n out from the denominator. Here the power n is there. Therefore, when you take this n out, it becomes n to the power n. And we get 1 here. When you take n out from the denominator, it becomes n to the power n. Because power is n. And this n becomes 1. And there is no n here. Therefore, we get 1 by n. And hence, here also, this n power n divided by n power n get cancel now see here we are left with only numbers and factor one by n that is our aim our aim is to get only numerals and one by n as factors now we can apply limits again this can be written as one by one plus one by n whole power n. Now we are going to apply limit. Limit of a n plus 1 by a n as n tends to infinity that is equal to limit of 1 by 1 plus 1 by n whole power n, n tends to infinity. Whenever we apply limit, we have to apply for every term and every factor. Every term and every factor. Here there is no n. Therefore, we need not apply limit here. But where is in the denominator, we have n. Therefore, we have to apply limit in the denominator. So, limit of 1 plus 1 by n to the power n as the n tends to infinity. This is a well-known limit. This is a well-known limit. Its value is the limit of 1 plus 1 by n whole power n as n tends to infinity is e. Therefore, it is equals to e. So, by Cauchy's second theorem on limits. The first thing is, what's the first condition or what's the hypothesis? The first condition is a n is greater than 0. In this given problem, every value, every term of the sequence is positive. Second thing is, we have shown that limit of a n plus 1 by a n as n tends to infinity is 1 by e. Therefore, by this theorem, 
we will get limit of nth root of an is also 1 by e see here limit of nth root of an is also l but what is l here l is 1 by e and hence we get the limit of an an is n factorial by n power n to the power 1 by n n tends to infinity is 1 by e now we will show that limit of 2n factorial divided by n factorial into n factorial to the power 1 by n as n tends to infinity is equals to 4 what is an as we know that an is the given expression except the power the given expression except the power therefore this is an that's the one we have written here we have written here now we have to find the ratio an plus 1 by an so an plus 1 will be replace every n by n plus 1 in an therefore we get 2 into n plus 1 factorial so yeah 2 in factorial becomes 2 into n plus 1 factorial this n factorial becomes n plus 1 factorial this n factorial becomes n plus 1 factorial what is an 2 in factorial by n factorial in n factorial since an is in the denominator we have to write the reciprocal of an that is n factorial into n factorial by 2n factorial look at the given expression the value of an plus 1 by an everything is everything is in terms of factorial for what is our aim as we discussed in the previous problem our aim is to eliminate all the factorial notations the second thing is eliminate all ends and its power so that the final step of an plus 1 by an will contains only numerals and 1 by n or the power of 1 by n hence we can write this further as 2 into n plus 1 factorial just multiply what happen 2n plus 2 that's what we written here 2n plus 2 factorial n factorial n factorial divided by this n plus 1 factorial we can write it as n plus 1 into n factorial similarly the second n plus 1 factorial also can be replaced by n plus 1 into n factorial now we have n factorial n factorial there are two n factor in the denom numerator and two n factor in the denominator therefore get cancel we will get 2 n plus 2 factorial divided by n plus 1 in the n plus 1 into 2 n factorial that is the one we have here again 2 n plus 2 factorial we are going to write as 2n plus 2 2n plus 1 into 2n factorial why because we have one more 2n factorial in the denominator so that this can cancel and that is the end of all the factorial notations therefore we are writing 2n plus 2 factorial as 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 Into two n factorial divided by n plus one into n plus one two n factorial. Therefore, this two n factorial and this two n factorial get cancelled. We are left with two n plus two into two n plus one by n plus one into n plus one. Look at this again. We have two n plus two. If we take two out, what happen? If we take two out, we can write two into n plus one. There are factors n plus one in the denominator, so that that also will be cancelled. 
Therefore, therefore, in the next step, we will be writing this 2n plus 2 as 2 into n plus 1. So that this n plus 1, this n plus 1 can cancel. Hence, we have 2 into 2n plus 1 by n plus 1. Finally, we have reduced the term without any factorial notation. What is the next step? We have to eliminate n. For that, what happened? We have to take n, this n out from the numerator and this n out from the denominator so that this n, n can cancel. Then we will be getting only numerals and 1 by n. Look at this. We are taking n out here. We are taking n out here so that this n, n can cancel. We are left with 2 into 2 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 1 by n. That is the standard form, let me say. This is a final form because everything is in terms of numerals and the factor 1 by n. Now, apply limit on both sides. When you apply limit, what happened? We know limit of 1 by n as n tends to infinity is 0. Therefore, now this becomes when you replace n by infinity, we get 1 by infinity. Here also we get 1 by infinity. See, as I told you, when you apply limit, we have to apply limit for all the terms. Numerator, denominator and every factor. But here 2 is a constant. Therefore, we don't apply limit for this 2. So we are taking 2 out. Whereas in this factor, we have 1 by n. n is there. So we have to apply. Here also n is there. So we have to apply. So apply limits here. As we apply limit here, we get 1 by n. Sorry, 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity. We know 1 by infinity is 0. Therefore, 2 into 2 plus 0 by 1 plus 0. We know 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. And the hence it is 4 by 1 is 4. So by Cauchy's second theorem on limit, there are two conditions. The first condition is a n is greater than 0 for all n belong to n. That is each and every term must be positive. In the given expression, we have only n. What is n? n is a natural number which is positive. Therefore, the first condition is trivially true. Now, we are shown that limit of the ratio is 4. Hence, by Cauchy's second theorem on limit, nth root of a n must be L. What is L here? 4. Therefore, limit of nth root of a n. Limit of nth root of a n. This is nth root of a n. That is equals to 4. That completes the problem.